Hey there, Glenn Harmon here. I've got a quick Photoshop tip for you today. This one is tip number seven. We're going to talk about loading files into a stack. This is a cool little trick if you're ever editing a lot of photos and maybe you're doing the same thing over and over. You can mix this with your actions and get a lot of stuff done real quick. So uh, this, it's pretty simple. Let's just start here. We'll go File. Uh, scripts go down here to load files into stack. And there's two options here. You can have you can load up files individually, or you can go in and grab a folder and just like load everything all at once. I'm going to do some files, or you can also do this if you already have a bunch of files opened uh, within Photoshop and you want to add all of those things into one file you can use this and do add open files that's pretty cool so let's just grab some here go to browse I'm gonna grab some from okay all right now you can see that it loaded up all these different files into one Photoshop file over here on the right you can see all of these things there's I don't know there's probably 15 or I could do pretty much whatever I want with these things, but the benefit is that I've loaded all of them into one file I can change at will. Now I just want to show you one little thing. You've probably noticed down here I've got this thing here that doesn't usually show up when you just open up Photoshop. It's called the animation timeline. This is one of the ways that I use uh, load files to stack. So I'll maybe if I'm doing fixes as a story artist, I get a bunch of these panels back and I open them all up and I I work like this. I have the animation timeline open down here and I would have a different frame for each one of these layers. So I'm going to turn off the visibility of each of these since this one's uh, purely opaque and I can't see past it. Might as well not have the others on, right? So I'm going to get a new frame here, turn off one the visibility of this one and show on the visibility of the next one. And then uh, I'm going to do that for the rest. Okay, so now you can see this is what my little sequence looked like when I was trying to put it together. So, so it looks like it starts here. The tomb opens, boom! His arm shoots out, and his eyes open up, and he's like, "Ugh, yeah, oh, I could use a memory foam in this thing." He gets up, and he like struggles, and kicks it out, and he falls. Okay, so that's a little tiny gag that never made it in the movie. It's fine, not better. But you can also see, watch over here on the right, watch the visibility of these things. As I go through, it turns the visibility on and off. That's one of the benefits of the animation timeline. We can talk about that more later. But that is one of the ways that I make this work. I think it's pretty cool. There you go. Load files into stack. A little bit of animation timeline love.